We're about to enter the living cell, a realm in its own way as complex and beautiful as the realm of galaxies and stars. Among the many red blood cells, we encounter a white blood cell, a lymphocyte, whose job it is to protect me against invading microbes. It makes antibodies on its furrowed surface, but its interior is like that of many cells. Plunging through the membrane, we find ourselves inside the cell. Here, every structure has its function. Those dark green blobs are factories where messenger molecules are busy building the enzymes which control the chemistry of the cell. The messengers were instructed and dispatched from within the nucleus, the heart and brain of the cell. All the instructions on how to get a cell to work and how to make another are hidden away in there. We find a tunnel, a nuclear pore, an approach to the biological holy of holies. These necklaces, these intricately looped and coiled strands are nucleic acids, DNA. Everything you need to know on how to make a human being is encoded in the language of life, in the DNA molecule. This is the DNA double helix, a machine with about a hundred billion moving parts called atoms. There are as many atoms in one molecule of DNA as there are stars in a typical galaxy. The sequence of nucleotides, here brightly colored, is all that's passed on from generation to generation. Change the order of the nucleotides and you change the genetic instructions. DNA must replicate itself with extreme fidelity. The reproduction of a DNA molecule begins by separating the two helices. This is accomplished by an unwinding enzyme. Like some precision tool, this enzyme, shown in blue, breaks the chemical bonds that connect the nucleotides and bind the two helices of DNA together. The enzyme works its way down the molecule, unzipping DNA as it goes. Each helix copies the other, supervised by special enzymes. The organic soup inside the nucleus contains many free nucleotides. The enzyme recognizes an approaching nucleotide and clicks it into place, reproducing another rung in the double helix. When the DNA is replicating in one of your cells, a few dozen nucleotides are added every second. Thousands of these enzymes may be working on a given DNA molecule. When an arriving nucleotide doesn't fit, the enzyme throws it away. We call this proofreading. On the rare occasions of a proofreading error, the wrong nucleotide is attached and a small random change has been made in the genetic instructions, a mutation has occurred. This enzyme is a pretty small molecule, but it catches nucleotides, it assembles them in the right order, it knows how to proofread, it's responsible in the most fundamental way for the reproduction of every cell and every being on Earth. That enzyme and DNA itself are molecular machines with awesome powers. Within every living thing, the molecular machines are busy making sure that nucleic acids will continue to reproduce. <laughs>